Hello, and welcome back. Glad you're here. <clears throat> I know, it's been a while. I missed you, and I hope you feel the same. Um, I've been, yeah, studying, pondering, meditating, you know, um, and waiting on Yeshua. I had a dream and this is out of just out of the blue nowhere you know and another one of those where I'm in the midst of it I'm standing there it seems real like the heat the sun the wind the smells the <clears throat> everything um, so let's get into it I was at a house in the driveway and there's two SUVs. They were Land Cruisers, or four, one was a Forerunner, one was Land Cruiser. They were both white, and um, uh, there was a, a, a girl there, and she's like, "We gotta go." Right? I don't know who this girl was, you know, and maybe I'm seeing this through some guy's eyes or whatever. And they they hurried up and rushed. And the one thing I noticed was in the driveway. Um, it was kind of a tan colored house and one of them was parked nose in to in front of the driveway in front of the garage the other one was completely opposite the nose of the SUV was to the street like make a quick get getaway right and um, I remember seeing this guy trying to get into the one that was facing the garage so you have to back up and do like a three point turn or whatever you know and uh, I remember hearing her voices like no just get in the passenger um, seat of the other one and we can just get out of here it's like okay and she was driving she sped off and she made a right turn I remember that bounced over the curb it was really kind of like um, flustered that like we gotta go and we gotta go now so like, okay got it driving we're in the desert kind of middle of nowhere we stop there's um, not huge mountains but they're more than hills you know what I mean um, if you drive to the Mojave Desert there's this huge uh, peaks and and mountains you know but uh, it's not like Everest or anything like that but it's not completely flat and yes there are flat areas and then there's mountain stuff and then there's flat areas you know we pulled over to this um, rest area and I'm like okay uh, didn't need to go I was like why are we here and then all of a sudden one of the mountains and it was all really rocky that's kind of why I'm wearing this hat right like uh, New Mexico Arizona um, parts of Utah southern Utah stuff you know um, it's desert area so but one of the mountains on the other side because here was the rest area and then on the opposite side there was a mountain um, and it blew it was a it was a, a volcano um, and it was different I mean we have a, the long valley caldera here mammoth mountain in in uh, California and it, it's bigger than Yellowstone you know if that goes the whole West Coast, you're right, you know, and maybe they trigger along the way, but that's just a side note. So I saw this one mountain just kind of go bam, and all these rocks and everything, and their boulders just kind of blew, and it was like it started out like kind of a gray uh, ash kind of, and then it was black, right? All this black smoke and ash and everything else blew, and then to my left, another mountain blew, and then this smaller mountain. Over to my right side, blue, right? And all of a sudden, bam, bam, bam. And everything's shaking, you know. And so I get behind the um, uh, the, the rest area, which is kind of like a, a one-story little box made of cinder block. You know, there's nothing to it. Um, I'm behind this, and I'm like, this isn't going to stop it, you know. And I can see all the smoke coming around and, and around it and never, and the wind starting to blow. You know, that's what I mean. You can feel it. And the sand. If you've ever been in like a sandstorm or windstorm with sand, you know, 
it has this kind of shh, it's a gr gritty sound, and it's all up against the building, and I'm on the back side, <coughs> excuse me, thinking, this is not going to save us. I mean, you make a little vortex of air, a vacuum. Thank you, God. Um, but I'm like, I'm like, oh, God, you know, Yeshua, please, you know, we're not going to make it. And then this in bodily form. Okay, the best way I can describe this is after Jesus was baptized, Yeshua was baptized, came up out of the water, the Holy Spirit came down in bodily form, not like a dove, right? By the way, the dove floats, you know, misrepresentation. Um, so it kind of stood in front of me. I'm like, okay, like when someone's invisible, like visible man, but you can see kind of an outline. Uh, that was how this entity was. And I'm thinking, oh, it's an angel, right? And maybe it's the Holy Spirit, right? So, and I could see through it, but I could see it that it was there, right? And I look over the shoulder, and I could feel the wind and the blast and the heat. I come back behind his head, right? And I'm perfectly fine. So when I'm out of his protection, I get blasted. When I'm standing right behind him, you know, in perfect, like, sync that he's directly in front of me, I'm fine. I'm protected, you know. So, what does this mean? The Holy Spirit, you know, um, protects us. If we step out, yeah, we consent to uh, um, sin or wrongdoing or iniquities or whatever else. That gives legal um, precedent for the enemy to step in. Um but anyways, so the the whole thing about this this dream that was like it it, it seemed very real to me. Um, volcanoes going off, you know. I didn't see lava or anything, but I saw a lot of ash, a lot of dust, black columns of smoke, and that reminded me of Joel. I think it's chapter two, you know, columns of smoke and and fire. But I didn't see any fire. Then again, I was hiding and be protect, protected, you know, and so. Um, under his wing, under his protection, you know, trusting in the Lord and trusting in the blood, you know, he is the way. And I was reading the book of Acts, and they all said it was the way. And the Apostle Paul, he was attacking the people that were following the way. Way of what? The way of salvation, the way of the gospel, the, and the way of the kingdom. Um, sorry, because uh, Yeshua is the way, the truth, and life, right? So they used to call it the way. And it wasn't until they got to Antioch that they called them Christians, Christ. Now, who knows what they actually called them, because um, like in Antioch, were they speaking Greek? Probably. You know, was there Aramaic? Maybe. Hebrew? Yeah, because you can tell that all these people were there when they were witnessing um, so actually the name of uh, Christ and Christian is is a uh, transliteration kind of thing you know he's Yeshua HaMashiach you know the chosen one the anointed one um, and he is the only way to be saved how do we know he died on the cross he shed his blood three days later he rose from the dead rose from the grave right and then he ascended 40 days later up into heaven. So that's a guarantee that just as he was raised, first fruits, so shall we. Whether we live, whether we die, you know, trusting in what he did on the cross and the blood that he shed, the atoning blood that covers us so that we are made righteous in the eyes of Father. Anyways, that was my dream. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Love you guys.